Greetings, folks. I'm John Morgan. There are two sides to every single story. The passion and the glory Just trying to make it through the day You know we're trying to come together Arm in arm and hand in hand And with my brother I will fight To unify our land America Home of the brave We stand strong When we're willing to change the freedom of my brother and me and on the other hand there are those who would undo us unruly who would rule us and break us all apart and I will stand beside you and fight against injustice and lawless ones among us come on let freedom reign America, America, home of the brave. We stand strong. Get your guitars and tune them Melody and harmony Let's make a little revelry Keep pluribus them. Get your guitars and tune them Melody and harmony Let's make a little revelry Keep pluribus them. Get your guitars and tune them Hey, I'm Warren Smith at the Trail Life USA National Conference, and I just want you to know that John Morgan was here with us, and he did such a fantastic job with the boys and their parents here. If you care about faith, family, and freedom, you need to have John Morgan at your next event. I promise you, he will wow the crowd and make you proud. Well, I'm the free world leader, John Morgan. Wowing crowds and making people proud. Well, I'm the good news instigator, compassionate conversator. This freedom is rocking and rolling on out to you. White and blue. Greetings, folks, and welcome to the John Morgan Show. I'm your host, John Morgan, and I am uh, honored to have the privilege of hanging out with you for a little while. On Hump Day, Jason McBride in the house. What happened to my back? What did I do? I do not know what I did. I am a dangerous man with a laptop. Clearly, I boogered up my backdrop. But that's all right. You know why? Because it won't be held against me in a court of law. I have broken no laws. I want to share with you my scripture of the day today. Jason says... How long do you have the beard? How long do you have the beard? 
I don't under, understand the question. Do you mean how long have I had the beard? About a month, maybe a month and a half. If you mean how long will I have the beard, I can say probably no more than another 24 hours, maybe less. Because I have a event this weekend, and, uh, well, let's just say the former president does not have a beard, so it's going to have to go. But I have enjoyed it. I have had so much fun with this beard. And I've recorded a couple of demos <clears throat> as several artists who, who carry or who sport a beard, one of them being Willie Nelson. And uh, recorded a couple of songs as Willie. Another one being Kenny Rogers, uh, a, a, which is why my hair is parted in the middle today. This morning I was doing some uh, Kenny Rogers in the studio. And, uh, <clears throat> and so then it'll go off. But when I perform in the future, see, I, I want to be able to add a little Willie Nelson, a little Kenny Rogers to my performance. So... Uh, Kathy and I just got back just a few minutes ago from a place in Orlando called Embellish FX where I picked up this little number right here. <clears throat> Some dude sacrificed years and years of growth uh, for my performing pleasure. Human hair, folks. Someone's beard. So I will be able to glue this on and off for the short in the short term. Isn't that amazing? Of course, I'm going to trim it a lot, unless I'm doing ZZ Top. <laughs> Isn't that great? And then I've got a mustache to match it. So it just it, it, it easily glues on with double stick tape. Might as well just you know show you behind the scenes on how stuff like that is done. <clears throat> and then I can be Willie Nelson for a few songs, Kenny Rogers for a few songs, pull it right back off and go right back to the W, George W, George W, Bush, that's right. That's who I'm talking about. The former, former PR president of the United States. But when I have the beard, I mean, it's hard. You can't, it's hard to bring him in. <laughs> it's, it's like he's out in the rain. Uh, but uh, once this is gone, W will be right back. He'll be right back bigger than ever, better than you've ever, ever seen him before. It's going to be so huge. It's going to be fo so fantastic. You know, I've been accused of being out of the loop uh, recently. But trust me, folks. Okay, the loop is around me. Okay, I am the I am the loop. I am the epitome of the loop. In fact, people say I'm loopy, but that isn't true. In fact, the truth is I am looping others like a cowboy, like a cowboy with with a rodeo rope. <laughs> Throwing that rope around the steer, steering the steer into the bullpen where they can be uh cali -hide. That's right. <laughs> I want to share with you a scripture from this morning, one of my absolute all-time favorites out of the book of Colossians. And this is, a, this is a rules for living. All right, Jordan Peterson wrote his book, 12 Rules for Living. He forgot this one, but it should be there. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, here we go. Colossians 3.17 out of the uh, New Living a translation, which I love. And whatever you do or say, do it as a representative of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. See, we're all ambassadors of America, no matter what we do, because this is our homeland. Wherever we're from, whatever we do, we do it as a representative of what America is. And as believers, the same is true. We do everything we do as representatives of that kingdom as well. So we want to do everything with excellence, excellente. But check out this last line, giving thanks through him, him being Jesus, to God the Father. Now, how do you give thanks 
through Jesus to God the Father. Because Jesus said, no man comes to the Father but by me, through me. See, he is in us, and that is how we communicate with uh, Papa. It's through Jesus. See, if it weren't for Jesus, we would be, uh, we would be standing in our own poop, as it were. <laughs> we, would be, we would be wearing our own guilt, the guilt of our sin. But as it, were, as, as it is, he has done, taken away all of our iniquity. And so that we standing now, as it says in the book of Romans, in the righteousness of God. Wow! That's nuts! It's so huge! It's a mighty fantastic! You and I standing when God sees us. He sees us also through Christ. So he doesn't count our sins against us anymore. That's just crazy. And when you understand it, you're going to go, why, that's scandalous. It's way too much. It's way too much. Surely I've got to play a role. I've got to be doing, doing, doing in order to live up. I remember the, the movie Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan. Do you remember at the end of that movie where Tom Hanks is dying and he says to a young Matt Damon, a a Mr. Private Ryan, earn this. Earn this. And, and at the very beginning of the movie, they show Matt Damon now as an old man, at the very beginning, coming to the gravesite of Tom Hanks. I forget the, c- the character's name in the movie. And he, and he, he falls to his knees knowing that no matter what he had done, it could never earn the life of those men who died to save him. And he turns to his wife and says, tell me, tell me I've lived a good life. Tell me I've, I've done the right thing. And she looks at him with steely eyes and says, you have But when it comes to the gospel, friends, we could never earn it. We could never be good enough. That's why so many people have it. Because it's a free gift. All we can do, the only option we have, is to receive it freely. Accept it from the kind heart of a loving God who sent his son into the world. For God so loved the world that he sent his son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Probably the most famous scripture in the world, or at least in America, John 3.16. And so we now, as grateful people, can embrace a scripture like whatever you do or say, do it as a representative of the Lord Jesus. Why? In order to earn what he's done for you? No! Giving thanks through him to God the Father. We do it because we love him. We do it out of gratitude. And that's my story for today. Hope you enjoyed it. So next time you see me sporting this, hopefully you won't know whether it's this or this. It'll be all trimmed up. And uh, Lord, I pray that you'll bless the man who shaved off a considerable awesome beard in order for me to be able to play Willie Nelson and Kenny Rogers. (laughs) Roger, over and out. God bless you guys. Have an excellent afternoon. We'll see you in the morning on Pray for America. America, what a place. Thank you for being on with me today, Jason. Hey, that's one of those songs I performed today. On the road again. Wait till you hear my Willie Nelson impersonation. It's very cool. 
You're going to hear it soon, my friends. If you enjoyed today's program, please hit that like button. Smash that love button. And share this out with your friends. Let's get this bad boy populated. I appreciate you. God bless you. God bless America. Hey, this is Al Robertson from Duck Dynasty and Duck Commander. I want to tell you about a great book called War on Fear from my good buddy, John Morgan. Of course, he looks like George W. Bush, who had the famous War on Terror, so I immediately knew, you know, there was a nice uh, a bit of wordplay there. This book is fantastic. I think it speaks to sort of that natural fear that all of us have, whether it's public speaking or whether it's the first time you get asked to do something you've never done before, uh, up to, you know, the fear of, of loss of life, of, of a sick uh, person in your family, all the things that, that we face every single day. I recommend this highly. I promise you will be blessed when you read this book. And it's the sort of book that after you read it, you're going to want to pass it on to someone else, which to me are the best kind of books. So War on Fear, get yours as soon as you can. show i sure do appreciate you guys hey and i ask you for a favor if any of you have read war on fear i need some new reviews i got a bunch of five star reviews somebody came in there and left a three star review which is fine of course but there was no commentary there was no explanation just a three star review and that took my five star review down to 4.6 and if any of you have read the book and really love it, really helped you, served you, how about going on Amazon for me and leave me a review? I sure would appreciate it. And also remember, Father's Day is coming right up. If you don't have a great gift for your daddy-o, consider getting him a, a bush gram or a trump gram. Why send flowers when you can send a bush? www.bushgram.com www.bushgrams.com God bless you guys. Happy hump day. We'll see you tomorrow.